The brain receives arterial blood from two main pairs of vessels and their branches, the internal carotid arteries and the vertebral arteries, which make up the anterior and posterior circulation. The internal carotid arteries supply the frontal, parietal, and temporal lobes of the brain and orbital structures. These arteries arise from the bifurcation of the carotid arteries in the neck and can be divided into seven segments. They ascend through the base of the skull and enter the carotid canals of the temporal bones. The internal carotid artery, ICA, then turns forward within the cavernous sinus, then up and backward through the dura mater, forming an S-shape, which is referred to as the carotid cephan, before it reaches the base of the brain. As the ICA exits the cavernous sinus, it branches into the ophthalmic artery just inferior to the anterior to the anterior clinoid process. The ICA then runs lateral to the optic chiasm and branches into the anterior cerebral artery and the larger middle cerebral artery. The anterior cerebral artery and its branches supply the anterior frontal lobe and the medial aspect of the parietal lobe. The main segments and branches of the anterior cerebral artery are the horizontal segment, the vertical segment, and the distal segment. The horizontal segment extends from the ICA bifurcation to the anterior communicating artery. The anterior communicating artery joins the two anterior cerebral arteries just anterior to the optic chiasm. The vertical segment, an extension of the horizontal segment, courses superiorly toward the rostrum of the corpus callosum. The major branches of the vertical segment are the orbitofrontal, frontopolar, callosomarginal, and splenial arteries. The distal segment curves around the genu of the corpus callosum and continues as the pericolosal artery The middle cerebral artery is by far the largest of the cerebral arteries and is considered a direct continuation of the internal carotid artery. The middle cerebral artery gives off many branches as it supplies much of the lateral surface of the cerebrum, insula, and anterior and lateral aspects of the temporal lobe, nearly all the basal nuclei and the posterior and anterior internal capsule. The four major segments of the middle cerebral artery are the horizontal, insular, opercular, and cortical. The horizontal segment courses from the origin at the ICA bifurcation laterally toward the insula and branches into the lateral lenticulostriate arteries, which supply to the lentiform nucleus, parts of the internal capsule, and caudate nucleus. The insular segment courses along the insula, continuing as the opercular segment that emerges from the lateral fissure. Upon exiting the lateral fissure, the opercular segment becomes the cortical segment, which splits into the superior and inferior groups of cortical branches that supply nearly the entire surface of the cerebral hemispheres.